you know, he's got the serve in there, obviously. He's a world-class competitor. Leo on the paddle, back out, flips to go on the inside under the rest of the pack. Drives through that first turn. Just links it up so smooth into the second. Pushes that tail. Gets that little slide and drift going on. Really smooth transitions for Leo. Small size wave, but man, he is really generating speed and power out of it. So Leo's got the inside. Leo tucking in, and he'll find his way through. Slater looking right into the eye of that tube. Viravanti gets the payoff of fighting for that inside position while priority was neutral on the outside. And now he's going to look to make the other competitors pay. Great start to this ride. It's going to go again. This guy's such a fierce competitor. Gave one of the great post-heat interviews after losing out at Margaret River and failing to get above the cut line. Just shifted his focus straight to the Challenger Series. Said that result would not define him and he was going to get after the Challenger Series events and keep his head down. Gets a little caught behind. Have a look at this wall though for Leonardo. The Italian just oh. digs in. Right. Throws a big fan of spray straight into Kelly's <laughs> face. Laser beams. <laughs> and now back out in front of it. Wow, he's connecting with some nice rides out here at the moment. Yeah, well, of these two waves, this one is the one that does not harm Kelly so much. Alehe could have. Which tells you that he's got big surfing, but this guy has just been on fire on his run through the contest so far. Leonardo's looking good off. You're looking so good, Ronnie. Uh, fellow Italian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, um, he's psyched. I can tell by uh, the look on his face, and I've kind of been seeing him around here and there. He's coached by Doc Marsh, a really good friend of mine. And, um, you know, he's ripping for sure. He's, he's just... He's got that repertoire that just fits really well to snapper, you know, and he's always busy. Look at that beautiful snap tied in the lip. Cuts it a little short there, thinking it might barrel. But um, on a day like today, you'd be more looking at turns, wouldn't you? And it's a beautiful bottom turn and kind of oh, just solid. cuts it short again. When you look at a point break, and I'll just use a, 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 a gymnastic analogy, somewhere like pipe and everything, that's some fault. It's quick, it's fast. It's just one explosive thing happening. This here is a floor routine where you have to connect all, all the moves, connect all the dots and make it look smooth and you can be exposed at any given time during that floor routine as we see Leo Ferravanti going through the paces. Yeah, Leo's got the ribbon out at the moment and he's just uh, <laughs> putting on a fantastic show, just sending the spray up into the sky. But he started strong again here, seven point ride and this is going to be a healthy backup number as well. This guy just has so much confidence when he comes back and competes in the Challenger Series or, or at the Qualifying Series level. You know, I, I feel even though he's lost that place in the CT, as we see Leonardo Firavanti, the Olympian, represented Italy beautifully over there in Tokyo last year. And he has just looked so on on his road through to this point in the contest. And he's connected with a decent wall here, providing plenty of opportunity as he hammers down the line up into the hook of the wave there, drops out the lip and gets back to the uh, top for another finish and he knows just how crucial that ride was. Opportunities for a monster combo on the end section and that's where he really collected the majority of points down the line here. And of course, you know, it'll be difficult for him when he goes home and says, well, you know, what was the win you win the contest? Oh, I won the contest at Greenmount. Yeah, I started at Snapper Rocks and wanted a green mount, but uh, he's got a couple of heats to go oh, yeah. if he wants to take that victory, but he is doing some brilliant surfing and, yeah, just uh, didn't give up on this one and uh, the wave rewarded him for it. Big hit to finish. I mean, from the judges' perspective. Just paddling himself into a different position. Coming up in the next heat, Taichi Wakita, Sheldon Simkis, Mateus Herde, and Thomas Debier. It's going to be a great looking heat, but with an opportunity now, 45 seconds on the clock, chasing a 7.01. Nice two turns to start off. Really strong, throws a bit of spray. Now he's going to fight with this to find the inside connection. Will it actually reform? It's hitting the bank, it's standing up, it's giving him that depth, that steepness to tag the lift on the finish. And he's really doing everything he can to take this thing into the sand. Best of it goes to Mateus Hurdy with a 5.67, a 5.17 for Leo, a 5.33 for Jorgen. 
now they're looking to better those equations. We do have scores come through from the last exchange still. And Leo goes huge into the air, makes the rotation so smooth. It's back to the scores. Well, we'll get back to scores for Leo in a moment because he's on another wave. Now driving down the line, goes for the air again. Oh, wow. Super high tail on that one. Uh, we saw it earlier in, in another heat, and then we've seen it again here. The judges are going to have nowhere to go with this score. This is infinitely better than his previous ride, and they've already got a 7-2-3 down for that, and he's not even done yet. That was a legitimate backside air, and I'm um, really curious to see where the score goes. Okay. It all kicks off on the 28th, the Quicksilver Pro G Land. As we see Leonardo up at the moment, really putting the foot down and making the most of those limited sections there. Very tuned in the art of, of competing, and uh, he's you know totally on with his wave selection most of the time. You never really see him make priority errors. Here he goes now. Great speed, good read through a couple of really fast, fast pockets there. Not an easy wave to, to get three turns done for for Richard Dogmarsh to to be coaching. He's got Leonardo Firavanti, just a a guy who loves the fight, never gives up, loves a big name opportunity and he's got Ryan Callanan who hasn't yet really tapped into his potential so this is going to be fun to see where this one goes but you know this guy's going to keep throwing numbers at you, Leonardo Furavanti with his best wave yet Camera will just pick up interest from Mason Kemp and meanwhile, Leo Furavanti is going to hang on to that one, will he? He's going to have to <laughs> pet it to completion and he will Oh, big chunky section nice takeoff there Strong first turn, almost loses it, reacts really well. Trying to get out from underneath that wingspan of Frederico Marias. And Freddy's going to let him go. So Leo is going to find a step on the inside. Here he goes. Can he go to the air? Oh. Lovely alley oop, <laughs> and he'll put it down flat. The requirements oh. is a 6 4 1. And we'll put the question back to you, Sir fans. Did he just meet the requirement? The focus of Leonardo Fioravanti has been tangible. And he's going deep. So Leo Ferravanti looks like he's going to get the first wave. So already a good move. First turn's crucial. There's a big carve. He's looking really sharp yesterday. He's talking about how much he likes this wave. He knows the ins and outs of it. And just driving around the corner. He's Whoa. looking so fast. In between, in between his turns, there's no sort of... Whoa, <laughs> no little transitions. He's just shrouping. He's just killing it. And when he gets the section, he absolutely belts it. So there you go again. He did this yesterday. Leo, you just flew your way back onto the CT. And having your family here to see the, everything it must be really special. Does that, does that mean that it's enough points? Sorry? You think it's enough points to get back on tour? Oh, yeah, it's, it's official. Congratulations. Thank you. I didn't really know, but I figured that would be enough. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that feels pretty good. Um, stoked to be here with my family. It's been a pretty long year, up and down. You know, lots of things have happened so far, but I'm glad I've been, you know, consistent enough in the back end of the year to, uh, um, you know, focus on my goal, which was getting back on tour. But the goal right now is to win this event. Of course, every event you're here to win, and, you know, I'm feeling really good. Boards feel good. My family's here to support. Uh, Everything is going smooth, but of course, there's going to be some tough moments coming up. So let's keep on pushing and keep on making good choices. And quick question. Are you going to skip the next two events or is it competition mode all to, to the end? No, of course. I mean, um, every event is practice, even though I've qualified, I guess. Um, every event, you know, you can work on new things and how you can improve. You know, there's always ways to improve. Um, so I'm going to Brazil for sure, and then Haleiwa, you know, I would never miss Haleiwa for anything in the world. It's, it's one of my favorite waves in the world, and I've gone second there before. I made the semis, so um, that's a goal of, you know, winning that event. Well, get excited, 2023 championship tour is coming. Yes, 46 is back. WSL finals at Trestles. Struggled relative to that on his sophomore year. Wants to get back for 2023. Fioravanti already hunting a backup. Quick slices in the pocket for him. Bang, tags the lip really hard. Little projection out of the lip line to the flats into a bottom turn. And this one will just sit up very cooperatively indeed. And how do you like them apples? Slams the lid shut with a layback jam, just raking that tail. And this was Leo um, 
But Leo's wave, it looked really happy at the end. Really nice snap there. Uh, he gets up in there again. Uh, good sweeping cutback up to the pocket. He waits for it and he does this lay back where he kind of lost it and he was able to actually make it on a really hard section. So uh, he loved it. He was really happy about it. It's really important. And this is the way Shika, I mean, the flip job is talking <laughs> through it. Uh, it started off pretty, pretty white washy the wave, so it must be something special on the inside. As you see, nice carving on the outside. And yeah, the wave wasn't that clean, but surfing really good off the top. And let's see this double up. It's probably going to be something really special because right now he's just waiting for that wave to stand up, as we see here. A nice setup. Nice setup carve. And look at this bally section. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to the men's final EDP Vista Pro Irisera. Picking up live action. Here's the Italian Yehit leader, Fioravanti. Down the line with speed. What's he got for a finish? Hits it hard. Out into the flat again. Tags it and emerges. The crowd love it. Or well, at least some of them do. <laughs> Belly there with Jose Gregorio. Heads up Quicksilver down here in Portugal. And Fiora Vanti finally getting the back up for the 817. The massive total. Make some noise for your men's champion, Leonardo Fioravanti. Yeah, Leo. Mate, let's get a word with you. You said you wanted the win, you got it, and it must feel amazing to do it in that emphatic style with a massive couple of eights. This is one of the best days in my life, you know. Being here, incredible waves. There is a special place for me. My family is here cheering for me. There they are, I love them so much. Um, it's been amazing. All right, once again, huge applause to your men's champion, EDP Vistler Pro, Leo Fioravanti.